the new year has been good to you. Now, today we're going to do our end of year totals. And that basically, we're going to go through all the stuff, our black sand, the, the dirt, uh, the gold, and lead. Get it all totaled up. So we got a bunch to do. So what do you say we get started? Now the first thing we're going to do is pan out the dirt. And this is, like I say, this is stuff I dumped out of my back pocket when I cleaned my pack out, uh, cleaned the Jeep. Just basically the dirt I drug home from the hills. Now, I'm not going to film panning this out because it's storming pretty good out there right now. And I'm just going to have to make a mad dash in between the rainstorm and the wind's blowing too hard to set up the camera. So, I'm going to run out, get set up, and hopefully get this panned, see if there's any gold in it. Got that pan down, and I'm a little surprised here. Uh, we do have a little bit of gold, but let me show you. You're going to look. That looks like whatever it is got mercury on it. There's quite a bit of lead, and there's some real fine, I don't know if that's just balls of mercury, or if it's gold covered mercury. I'm really surprised with all the mercury. The only thing I can think of is that trip I went out with Bennett and uh, he broke that old bottle that had mercury in it. And we were digging around in that mercury and that's the only place I can think of that I would have picked up some mercury and got it in my pocket or whatever. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the lead out of there. I'm going to take a look at it, and if there's any gold I can see, I'll pick that out. But I think the, the mercury and all that, I'm just going to dump it in with the uh, black sands and rumble, run that through the tumbler uh, because we're going to put mercury on it anyway to pick up all the fine gold. We have a few pieces of gold, and then this is the big chunk with the mercury all over it. No idea what it is. And this is the lead that we pulled out of there. This will go in our lead jar, and we'll add that to the year's total. Well, the next step is getting everything set up for the tumbler, and that I can just set up out in the garage, and I'll let that run all night. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pour our black sands in. And then we're going to pour enough water to just cover it. Okay. Now I put in just a few drops of nitric acid. This is 71% nitric acid. And what that does is that helps clean everything as it's tumbling. Okay. Now we'll just put the lid on good and tight. Okay, got that tumbler going. Now I think we'll grab our lead, take that in the shipping room, since my little scale won't weigh it. Take it in the shipping room, see how much lead we got this year. We're going to weigh this up in pounds and ounces. There's this up there, and then the other chunks we found. I never did figure out what this was. It was uh, made for something. But we ended up with uh, one pound, a little, little over 12 and a half ounces. A little bit short of two pounds of lead. Well, it's the next day, and I just got home from work. So uh, I'm going to run out, check that tumbler, see how we're doing. And you can see that that water is pretty dirty, which means material is getting pretty clean. We'll change the water and let it run for a few more hours. Okay, well, it's been about four hours, and this water's, you know, a lot cleaner. So I think at this point, we're going to change the water, and then we're going to add our mercury. Good clean water in there. We're going to pour just a little bit of mercury in there. Now, this bottle's probably three-quarters full, and I've been using this for, I would guess, 30 years. So you get most of your mercury back. Okay, I'm going to close her up, back on the tumbler. 
Well, Tumblr's been running for a couple hours, and uh, time to go out and feed the chickens. So I'm figuring at the same time I'm going to shut that down and uh, pan that pan that all out because uh, it's just now starting to rain really lightly, and it's supposed to be a pretty good storm coming in. So I want to get that panned out. See here we got our ball of amalgam and you can tell when it moves around how it, it's just kind of clinging. There's all kinds of gold in there. I want to really uh, quickly explain about the mercury to uh, people that don't understand why you use the mercury. Basically all the mercury does is the gold will be coated by the mercury. The, the mercury will basically envelop the gold and so it gathers up all the thousands of little pieces of gold into one clump and what that does is it allows you to pan that out real quick and easy because rather than have all those little tiny pieces floating around you now have this one big clump of mercury and so you can pan it out real quick and get rid of all, everything except your gold mercury. That should be done, uh, burning that off. So I'm gonna run out, take a look at it. If it is, I'm gonna clean that up, get it drying, and uh, we can get on with the weigh-in. Here we have the finished product. All our fine gold, so uh, let's get a weight on it. Okay, let's see how much we got in the way of fines. Point. 7 grams. Oh, not too bad. Okay, now we have 33 bags over there. Now the reason there's more bags than there is videos is a lot of times I don't do videos. Um, as, you know, especially if I'm way back in this long hike and stuff like that. I'm not going to carry the camera around. But we got 33 bags of gold. So I'm going to put 33 empty bags on the scale. Tear it out. And then we're going to throw all the bags on the scale and uh, see what our total is. The largest nugget this year was 5.96 grams. And my best day was 8.47 grams. And I think my coolest looking piece was this piece of uh, specimen that I got when I was out with Bennett. Okay, the first thing we want to do is let's get our tear. Now let's see if we can get all these things to stay on there. Ninety-seven point three one grams. Well, ninety-seven point three grams. That's way better than I thought I was going to do this year. You know, with the with the drought we've been having and everything, it was getting tough to find a crevice that somebody hadn't already been in there. Hopefully, we're not going to have that problem this year because it's been raining pretty good out there. Ninety, so that's like three ounces, two and a half penny weight, somewhere around there, over three ounces. So all in all, I'm okay with that. Now this coming year. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to work the rivers a lot more because uh, things are going to move around. I know between now and then we're going to be working the, uh, the sides, the canyons, the little creeks that don't normally have water in them. And uh, a guy can do pretty good in those since they're, they're pretty hard to work without water. And so they don't get worked hardly at all. And there's a lot of gold in those little guys. I'm going to try to work less this year. Mine more, hopefully. Keep our fingers crossed. And believe it or not, I'm still working on the old 40 pickup. Now, I haven't done much because I'm redoing my kitchen. As soon as that's done, I'm going to get back on that truck. So we got a bunch coming. The one thing that I really enjoy about doing the videos is the comments. Now, most of the time, 
I can't answer them all. I just don't have the time. But I read them all. And so you got something to say, just throw it in the comments because I really and truly enjoy that part of YouTube, the, the community, because uh, it's where it's at. Without that, the mining would just kind of be boring. All right, well, I've blabbered enough. I'm getting out of here. i got a kitchen to work on. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video.